What is going on over here? <laughs> the size difference is crazy. I literally just fed them and Oakley, the little wiener dog, was standing in between Duke's front legs, eating out of the same bowl. I'm like, y'all are so cute, but <laughs> what is going on? Well, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to make breakfast. Me and Jay are going to head to a coffee shop, which I've been going to like three, four times a week. It's just nice because I work from home usually, but to get out of the house and be in a different environment, it kind of makes me work and not be distracted, especially when Duke is like running around and trying to get my attention. I just can't do it. I can't. I can't focus. But now he's just occupied, instead of doing bad things, he's just chasing this little dog around. And he's not a bad dog, he just picks up pillows, he's an attention whore. So like he always is trying to get our attention by picking up things and running around with them. That's his like number one thing that he does during the day. And then also he still jumps, but he's turning one in. <gasps> Duke, your birthday's in four days! I wanna get him a little puppy cake, that'd be so cute. Aww. Jay would punch me. I'm just kidding. He's just so spoiled though. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, sure, but it's also the best meal of the day. I always look forward to breakfast every single morning. And for some reason, my breakfast is always the same and my lunch and dinner is usually all over the place. All reliable. I have a cinnamon raisin day's killer bagel. Toast that baddie. Oh my gosh. Oh, I probably shouldn't touch y'all. You're like dirty dogs. That like ugh, grosses me out. I'm gonna do one egg and then the rest egg whites. I don't really measure my egg whites anymore. I just pour until I think it looks good. And here is my breakfast. Last night there was such bad hail. I've never seen anything like it. They were literally the size of golf balls and it was so much. This is not real. No, it was full on hailstorm. And sitting at the kitchen table right now, our fence is literally so effed up. And I don't even want to tell you guys about my car because my car stays in the driveway outside. Uh, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure a lot of people's cars got messed up and I'm hoping insurance covers it, hopefully. Oh my God. I don't even want to look. I haven't looked at my car, but Jay said it was bad. So I'm not looking forward to looking at that, but just for a little picture, look at our fence. Y'all see that? It literally looks like, I don't know, but it's all dented up. All those little white spots were not there before, but it's all from the hail. Good oh boy. They will not stop. Oh my god. How did you get up here? That's bad. Okay, that'd be cool if I could just eat my freaking breakfast in peace. Bro. Oakley 110% has little dog syndrome. Where they just get like super cranky and mad. <laughs> like Duke will piss her off and she will snap, which is obviously not good. I'm just thinking like if Duke snapped, she wouldn't be here. I mean, he wouldn't. He's like, he's so sweet, but he's just so clumsy. He's just like stepping on her and he's annoying. He annoys the piss out of her. But yesterday she made Duke's lip bleed because she bit it. It was like hanging onto his lip and her little tooth like punctured his lip. It was bleeding. It's like having children.
Well, that was pointless. You brought to outside. And then to turn around, you brought to come inside. Just got this outfit in from Young LA, and it's super comfortable, and I think it's so cute, but here's the fit, and then I have my laptop, charger, oh, I need my notebook too, and my headphones, because I'm going to be working on my real estate class, and then some other work stuff. Okay, the walk of shame to see my car. Uh... Broke whatever that is. And a hole. Oh my god. That is so bad. Okay, me and Jay are at White Rhino, and I got an almond milk latte with mocha. So good. Jay got kind of the same thing. He got a cold brew with mocha and one pump vanilla and almond milk. I think he'll like that. He's so picky about coffee because he likes sweet, but he also likes caffeine, but not super strong coffee taste. So finding that little balance. Mm. White Rhino was so good. We got Chick Fil A bringing today's coffee shop. Yes, as well. Yes. So I need to get a lot of other. I have a friend that works for the retailer. stopped at Walmart and I wasn't intending on getting this stuff but I saw it and I was like well it is like springtime so I feel like it's like the perfect time to start potting some plants when I lived in Wisconsin obviously I lived with my parents and we had a big yard and we had like a little box garden that my dad built that we planted a bunch of plants in like herbs and peppers tomatoes cucumbers zucchini pretty simple vegetables and herbs that were easy to grow and in Texas, it's warm here. It's sunny here as well. But now that me and Jay are in a home with a backyard, I can actually have some plants finally. Jay said that he would consider building some sort of like garden box for the backyard that is kind of elevated so it's not just sitting on the ground and killing the grass. Because we are renting this house. We haven't bought it yet, so we can't just fuck up a bunch of shit. I got some starting soil. I don't really know the difference between the different soils, but this one said it's good for starting all seeds and cuttings. Great for herbs, fruits and veggies, and flowers. And then I just got these little starter pots that I can put by the windowsill. So I got eight of them. I got lettuce, rosemary, cilantro, beans, watermelon, which... You're supposed to start outdoors, but we're gonna start it inside. Hopefully that grows. Honeydew melon, also you're supposed to start outside. Cantaloupe and sweet bell peppers. I'm excited to start this and see the little, the little plants grow. Having fresh veggies and herbs is so elite, especially in the summertime where you can just go outside and pick whatever you want. But I'm gonna start with these, see what grows, see what I'm successful with. We'll see. My grandma will be so happy. I'll have to send her a pic. I planted all of the seed. They're all watered and hopefully we'll start soaking up the sun if the sun ever comes out. I'm actually so excited for them to sprout through though. The fresh produce is gonna be amazing. Once I buy a home though, I cannot wait to have a huge garden with fresh produce. It's just gonna be way better quality, especially because the soil is gonna be good and healthy. It's not gonna be sprayed with a bunch of random ass pesticides, herbicides, just nasty stuff. Like I know where it will be coming from and I know that it'll be clean. And to have a couple chickens running around for fresh eggs, 
every single morning. That would be ideal. That would be the ideal life. But unfortunately, our yard is not big enough. And I don't know if we're allowed to have a chicken coop this place. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I do love all black. My outfit before, completely black. My outfit now, completely black. Her man. Completely black. I'm not completely black. <laughs> yeah. And then my gym fit, sports bra, this t-shirt, fitted tee. Coming soon, uncoated, by the way. Black shorts. Okay, you see, I don't need to explain everything. What about your shoes? They will be black Nike Mecca. But I need to work out. I'm gonna lift today. I'm gonna hit, I think, a full body lift. My quads are a little bit sore from yesterday's workout, so probably everything but anything quad related. And then I need to walk. I need to get my steps in. I'm only at 3,000 steps today, and it's 420. <sighs> oh, the time is 420? That means she's gonna get high wearing all black. With a black boyfriend, even though and I don't black smoke weed, playing on the way to the gym. I don't smoke, smoke weed, but the only drug I do is like 80 milligrams of caffeine every day. I, what was I saying? Oh, it was raining really bad yesterday and raining today, but now finally the sun is kind of coming out. I don't think it's supposed to rain for the rest of the day, but I need to get my steps in. I'm gonna walk on the treadmill when I get back. I can take Duke for a walk too. Literally losing my voice right now. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> just, just because I take it for a walk every single day, but I got a new phone case in the mail. Oh my God, all black. This is just an Amazon. It's like soft silicone. I love it. And then this sticky thing, the Acto Buddy. You can literally stick it on like walls. Like I was sticking it on my wall and it would stay. So that's really interesting, but I love it. I got a new phone. I got the 15 Pro Max, which is such a sleigh. I do love it a lot. I did notice that when I was charging it and I was on it at the same time, it was getting really hot, but I don't know, I love it. And I love the big one. I usually am like the regular size iPhone girl, but I got the big one and I love it. I just feel like the screen looks so much better and I don't know, but I do have to get adjusted to like typing now because before I was used to like a smaller phone, obviously, and now like the keyboard is a little bit farther apart. So I'm just like getting used to it, which is so weird. <sighs> such a freaking bone addict that I have to adjust my thumbs because they're so used to one way. But I want to try a new gym out today. I think we are going to Lifetime. They're like very exclusive which they're with their members. You have to like join a wait list to become a member. But I just want to go to a new gym. <laughs> I realized I never did a review of Lifetime and the one that I went to, ow, it's not worth $250 a month. So I don't think I'm gonna get a membership there. I went to Cowboys Fit and I liked it. I might get a membership there, but the only bad thing is you can't have a tripod. So I don't know, bro. Frisco needs to step up their game with better gyms or something or maybe i just need to explore different ones that aren't so effing expensive like i think i'd be totally fine to go to lifetime or something i meant to say la fitness i'm gonna close out this video though i want to know what videos you guys like the best for me if it's the workout videos just casual vlogs or like the single topic videos where it's like top five running tip or something like that comment down below but make sure you're subscribed i just noticed that 66.8 of you are unsubscribed that are watching so if you're not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button it means the world to me and it costs you nothing but it, i appreciate it so much thank you guys so much for watching and follow me on tiktok or instagram at chase josephson shop my clothing brand at uncodedclo.com and i will see you next time